All right, remember we have navdeck with the id navbar. Let's set the position. Fix with 100 pixel and change the display to flex. One item to the center and give a padding 1.5 RAM top and bottom and 2 RAM left and right and give a background transparent and Z index to and give a transition as well all 0.3 second is in out okay cool this is how look like for now if you don't see that so let's change the background to red for now okay it's gonna be look like that okay so remember we have a brand okay so let's styling that um i'm gonna make it something like that okay cool class brand logo let's change the phone week oh. to bold and the font size 20 pixel and text transform to uppercase save and here we go so let's change the color to white okay cool now let's styling this pen okay so yeah I don't need the redness maybe something like blue or something yeah yeah here we go let's styling this pen so brand that's logo span and i'm gonna change the background to 007 bff all right so now let's style the mobile knob which is for the link and the button as well so scroll down and select mobile enough mobile does enough oh, enough and select the enough this links okay thanks to oh thanks to the display to flex here it is and remove the lights style to none why I'm doing this okay and margin left to to RAM save and this is what we have okay cool and now oh yeah let's give a display flex in the mobile nav because we want to push the contact in the right side okay so in here that mobile does enough and set the display to flex okay and line item center and justify content to space between here we go and give a width okay 100 percent here we go now as, as, you, as you can see we have a similar nav bar like that okay so just styling that a little bit okay uh, make it like that okay scroll down again now i want to remove the text 
decoration. So let's grab the enough test links and the attack and text decoration. Oh, decoration none and um, check the font size to 20 pixel and give a margin top and bottom zero left and right one gram and check the color as well to white and the font weight to 200 pixel and give a transition as well all 0.3 second is this in this out all right save and this is what we have all right really cool so let's styling the button okay remember we have class called btn btn okay and give a border to one pixel solid uh, using this color and border radius to five pixel and give a padding 0 0.5 RAM for top and bottom and 1.5 RAM for the left and right and check the cursor as well to pointer and uh, give a transition all yes uh, 0 0.3 oh. second give a color to white oh white <laughs> black let's remove the color the background color here we go change the background to white okay cool so now let's just little bit styling the home section okay so let's see yeah remember we have a uh, home wrapper okay it's gonna be a display grid okay so scroll down let's set the home desk wrapper give a display grid and grid desk template desk columns to repeat Oh. Let's, let's create a three column and one friction meaning is we're gonna create three column with same size okay so grid this template this area and let's give a content for the first column and content again second column oh con content okay and the last column let's set to blank okay cool now set the home desk content okay and give a grid area oh grid area to content all right and the home blank if area to um, blank as well okay cool so now in here i want to change the background this color and change the color to white 
and give a padding. We want to post everything, the content to a little bit down. Okay, so give a 12 RAM for the top and for RAM for RAM for the right, zero for the bottom, and for RAM for the left. And give a hake to 140 view hake. Here we go. Alright, so let's see. But why we don't have something like that? Um, I think we have something problem. Alright guys, so basically this is home desk wrapper, right? And it's gonna be wrap the home and the home blank, not the home dot image. Okay, so let's remove that and paste it down here. Okay, and save and now we get the styling. Right? Really cool. Go to style.css and let's styling the H1 and basically everything inside in here. Okay, so let's make something like that. Okay, cool. Now select the H1 home desk content. H1 and change the font size four point five RAM and the line height one okay and the margin one RAM top and bottom and zero left and right okay cool awesome now let's styling the paragraph home desk content underscore underscore desk paragraph let's give a margin bottom to i don't know maybe to ram yeah and give a opacity to 0 0.8 Oh, 0 0.8 yeah save and here it is cool awesome guys so let's play in the btn right here we have home desk content underscore underscore desk and select the home btn home Yes, BTN. Alright, let's give a background transparent and give a border one pixel solid white and the color let's change to the white and Text transform make it uppercase. Cool. And give a change the phone wake to bold and give a padding one RAM and one point five RAM. Okay. Awesome. Now I want to change the background and the color when we hover the button so let's copy that this down here and remove everything now let's change the big one oh why am I doing that and it's gonna be hover okay Change the background to white and the color 
to like save and here it is we have the layer animation okay cool so now let's see all right now as you can see it's not responsive okay so let's make it that responsive using media screen media screen and max test width to 700 pixel okay and select the mobile now change the background to always background to red stop effect um, whoa um yeah I forget the p okay cool let's work so let's make something like that so remove the background okay let's change the position to absolute and um give a top zero and right zero and I want to give a big one so you can see what's happening hey come on man right so now we want to make it the uh, link to vertically okay so let's select the nav links nav links and give a flex direction column here we go and um, yeah i want to give a flex direction as well in here to column here we go and to um, give a width to 215 pixel here it is and uh, set the height to 100 view make cool um, justify content right justify i'm always wrong typing Justify content um, start. Okay, cool. Awesome. Now let's give a padding uh, in here. Top and bottom are set to to RAM. Left and right to RAM. <sighs> top and bottom seven RAM, and top and left and right to RAM. Save and awesome. So now let's change the color because you want to set the background to white okay let's change the color to white or to black i mean what happened to me I give a transition to all is 0 0.5 seconds uh, basically we need to is out okay cool and now give a just simple shadow so box shadow we need to zero pixel one pixel two pixel rgba zero 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 point five save and we have you cannot see that so let's change this to white i hope you see the background the box shadow okay cool the text is not showing up because we not change the color right so nav links are tag and change the color to black here we go 
Coco. Um, remember, in the not links, you set we set the margin left, all right. Um, in here, we set the margin left, so we need to remove that in the mobile version. So go to up here and change to zero, okay. And I want to make it space, so let's select the align. So now press links align, give a margin bottom to round. Here we go. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to show the hamburger icon, okay something like that so remember we have a class called hamburger where is that oh burger icons and span okay so let's select that burger icons and we need to change the position to absolute and uh, give a background so you can see what happening. Always background to red. Um, what happening? Okay, cool. Now give a position to top one point three RAM and the right to. 3.5 round and give a width and height 30 pixel and the height I want to set to 30 pixel and I save that As you can see we have a box right here uh, let's change the cursor as well and give a transition or transform transition all 0 0.2 second and is out save and here we go so let's give a the you know the three line so let's select the span tag. So burger icon span and give a position. Give a position to absolute again. Absolute and top set to 15% and the width 100% uh the height to three pixel to the background give a background uh black here we go but if as you can see it's not centering okay do you see that so let's give a transform uh it's gonna be translate zero and minus 15 percent save and now it's centering so how we create another line and basically in the top and the bottom we are we are going to using pseudo element okay so let's select the burger icon span and before okay so give a content nothing uh, top to a pixel oh yeah I need to change the position as well position to absolute and um, give a weight to 100% and the uh, hey, 3 pixel in the background 
to wash. Why <laughs> background to black? As you can see, we have a uh, another line in here. So let's create another line again. So burger icon span after okay but now burger icon span after but now i want to make it in the top so let's change the top to minus log eight pixel save and here it is okay so now let's remove the background right in here okay this look awesome 